Hey guys, before we get started today, I just need a couple seconds of your time. Over the last two weeks, we've had 326 videos age restricted or completely removed from YouTube. I don't know how much longer we're gonna be able to stay on this platform. So what I'm asking you is this. Go to Rumble, Odyssey, or Facebook, or even BitChute and subscribe there. Rumble will be our primary platform moving forward. And as always, you can find all of our videos at CigarScore.com. But we hope to see you on those other platforms as well. Enjoy the video. Hawks. Mm, probably not an eagle. Lizards. Uh, beehives. Coyotes and a bobcat. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all stuff that we've seen from our house. It's 106 today. I thought it was going to be getting cooler. It's time for a smoke. Hey guys, I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. Uh, let me uh, let me give you just a couple current events. So uh, it was just my birthday. I got some epic shit. I got an EPS carry, if you know, you know. Starfield just came out. Uh, I haven't played it enough, but I've put a lot of hours into it. And we are continuing in a sequence of cigar reviews that we're gonna be putting in the Adventure Club. Now, I know if you're watching this and you're like, yeah, I'm still not uh, convinced the Adventure Club is for me, or I'm not interested, or I don't know. You can come up with a thousand excuses not to not do something amazing, but that's okay. Uh, we this is this is probably not gonna be the last, but I went on a buying spree of cigars that I really wanted to put in the Adventure Club, and we've been sitting on them, and we are slowly releasing them uh, into the Adventure Club. So by the time you see this this uh, Room 101 12th Anniversary Toro. Uh, it will probably have already uh, come out in a club, but this is a cigar we can get. If you still haven't subscribed yet, give it a shot at least a month. I mean, yo it to yourself. If you smoke more than three or four cigars a month, I mean, we send you five, but you can you can smoke some and, and store some and all that kind of stuff. It's 50 bucks right now. Free shipping. I mean, five cigars the average you're gonna get a good deal so let's pull up the tiny cam here i've been wanting to smoke this room 101 12th anniversary toro for a while let's give you a, a close-up and we're gonna get it cut and lit i'm i'm not even doing anything and i'm just roasting in 106 degrees let's take a closer look and we're gonna get smoking all right we're just gonna have to suffer through weird angles on this camera today because i just have no energy to move it but this it's got this like if this was blue, it'd be bla baby blue. Would this be mint? Maybe a mint color. It says 12th anniversary. The gold there touches in with like a gold thing right there. It says room 101, 12th anniversary, Toro. So we got a 6x50. No time to even put a cigar score cigar date label on this thing because I just got this. Actually, I got it about a week ago. So it's been sitting in my big old humidor. And for the most part, this is a pretty good looking cigar. There's a little bit of a spot here where this vein coming in, uh, it's not totally glued down. It's a pretty good looking cigar, I guess. My guess is this is a Habano leaf, Nicaragua maybe, maybe Ecuador. It's not quite red enough to be in Ecuador. I don't know, but we've got a shiny cap here and some kind of medium medium brown colors in here looks good feels good let's get this thing cut and we will smoke it it smells a little bit leafy but uh let's see what we got here on the cold draw it's a good looking cigar like i said i've been looking forward to this for a long time so hopefully it does not disappoint draws about right and it's got a little bit of a kind of a flunky funky potpourri like the wood part of a potpourri uh, funkiness to it let's uh, let's see how it tastes oh that is really spicy first puff anyway it may not stay that way the draw is really good it's kind of got that room 101 flavor I, I can it, it's got some familiarity to it 
Oh, this thing has a lot of spice to it. I ate lunch like four hours ago, but this is, this is really something. I did not expect that. Okay, let's pull up the internet and let's learn about this Room 101 12th anniversary uh, Toro together. Okay, it looks like these only come in one size. This is the, uh, the Toro. I could be wrong about that. Don't think I am. Uh, $219.99. Strength three out of five. I think we need to update that. We pulled that information. Likely in this case, we pulled it from Room 101, but it's spicy, but the flavors are kind of light. Not mild, light, but give me a minute. Toro box of 20 is $219, so looks like a single is about $12.10. Yeah, oh yeah, Nicaraguan wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and do we really have undisclosed? Yeah, we have undisclosed fillers. So that's a little bit interesting. There is a lot of spice. There is something coming into it now about eight minutes into the cigar that's a little bit sweet. I don't think it's just super strong nicotine kind of sweet. It's probably something from the Nicaraguan tobacco. At least that's what it tastes like to me. The draw is great. The smoke is nice and cool once it hits my palate, traveling up these six inches here. Spicy and sweet, like a like a cakey sweet, like a, a powdered sugar kind of sweet. I am surprised by this. Stick around, I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, we're about 50 minutes into this Room 101 12th anniversary Toro. This thing's good, this thing's really good. Um, the spiciness that was really kind of overwhelming to start off with is now, it's sweet. It's just a nice sweet smoke. The draw is fantastic. The amount of smoke that I'm getting is fantastic. The burn, it's almost razor sharp. Lots of really good smoke. I just wanted to pop in and give you the update. Let's knock that ash off. We're going to pull the label off here. And it says something on the inside. It says, no good deeds on the inside. And I believe the full phrase is, no good deed goes unpunished. So I don't know how that fits in there. It doesn't really say anything upside down. But no good deeds in kind of this, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Kind of that like old world whatever font that is so anyway just wanted to pop in about 50 minutes uh we've got a really good cigar right now i don't know if these are limited edition or not but um so far really good 12 dollars six by 50 that should probably smoke for about 75 minutes ish i think so just popping in to to say hello um, I'm enjoying this thing. Very nice. I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts on this Room 101 12th anniversary. Okay, we're right at 80 minutes on this uh, this Room 101 12th anniversary Toro. Now, I'll tell you that the first two-thirds of the cigar, well, let me rephrase. The first five minutes was really overpowering with spice. For the most part, the first two thirds of the cigar were really quite del delicious. It was just sweet and awesome. The construction has been really fantastic. Great draw, great burn, great smoke output, even down to the nub here. What I didn't really care for was the final third. It's not as sweet. It became more woody, uh, more leafy, a little bit more rough, uh, as opposed to smooth and sweet. I don't think that that's gonna really discount this thing from a, a cigar score of five. I'm gonna give this a cigar score of five. But I wish that sweetness had continued right up through the end. And I've blown out or purged uh, the smoke uh, three or four times and it didn't really seem to make much of a difference. So it's not quite as good in the, in the final third as it is the first two thirds, but uh, I, it's not bad. It's just different, it changed. And some people might call that complexity, the shifting of flavors. And in this case, we would have three of those. Very, very spicy, very nice and sweet, not overwhelming uh, sweet or 
that spicy kind of overwhelming and then this final third where it's a little bit more rough not as sweet as it was so that might just be me maybe it's this stick or whatever but uh, I and I don't want you to think that I'm just giving all of these cigars that we're putting in the Adventure Club a cigar score of five that's not the case uh, I promise you it isn't I maybe just am good at picking cigars or at least ones that look delicious so I don't know I don't know a cigar score of five for the room 101 12th anniversary. This was a Nicaraguan uh, binder and wrapper with undisclosed fillers. Pretty good blend here from Matt Booth in Room 101. I don't know if he did this one before he sold the brand to, was it Scandinavian Tobacco Group? Or I don't think it was General. One of those two, I'm pretty sure he sold it. But anyway, a cigar score of five for the 12th anniversary from Room 101. Thanks for watching. I'm Ellery Wells from CigarScore.com, the best place to find and rate where to smoke cigars. If you'd like a discount on all your cigars, including the uh, Adventure Club, go to CigarScoreLounge.com slash CigarScore, and it should automatically apply the coupon. If not, you can use uh, the coupon code uh, CigarScore uh, to get a discount there. I hope you have an amazing day, and as always, Happy smoking.